Good evening. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to the sound test room. Uh, let's see who's here, shall we? Yes, yes. Let me refresh my thing. Okay, so <clears throat> Sugar Bites Factory. Yes, yes. A world of sound. A world of sound. Some of these patches uh, we're going to ex be exploring and delving into tonight, into the world of factory. Yes, yes, which is marvellous. Which oh, I seem to remember it actually being uh, free for the basic for the basic thing, and then you kind of buy um, some preset packs and stuff. I, I don't know. I can't, I can't remember how much it was but um, or how much it, 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 it retails at because obviously they sent me it. But... <clears throat> hi Stephen, hi Chris. Uh yeah, if well I I'm not like kind of this isn't gonna be a programming video. It's gonna be fa I find factory quite quite uh I did do a, 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 an actual thing where I did program it, but I'm you know I'm seriously getting into programming like synthesis with the <laughs> but this factory, this first patch I'm gonna play for you, this is a this is a, a whole thing on its own. You could genuinely, genuinely make if you had some sort of kind of ambient video footage or something that you wanted to go along with and, and, and play. This thing's incredible. I suggest that, oh no, we're not buffering, are we? Uh, oh, look at that, I need to adjust my, get my OCD be fixed if I don't do that. Um, what What's the free version like? Well, I think it's, I don't know, Paul download it and have a look. It's pretty good, I think. Uh, you do get some sounds and things, and you can mess with the parameters and stuff, I think. So I think it's okay. And then we, there's an in-app purchase which gives you gazillions of presets, obviously. And it's the it's the, it's the the way this works. This is the your modulation matrix, and you can have it all doing all sorts. I did do a video, a live stream with all this, but I, do you know what? Honestly, I've completely... Carbonate on Mars is here. Hello, Carbonate. Um, I've kind of forgotten, but... I don't understand factory neither. That's why it's just brilliant for presets. But just check this sound out, guys. No, in all seriousness, I know this is mono, but imagine it's in stereo. <laughs> but listen to the let's just listen to how the thing evolves. We'll just play one note here, one note there. Just it's phenomenally good. <laughs> Awesome. It's just epic. <laughs> so if we go into another if we go into the, the beautiful thing is the, the actual way you can save patches, the way you can actually locate patches that you want. 
<clears throat> I mean, just in this this first couple of this, I mean, these first pages. It what's this Zimmer score? Let's have a look at that. So you can have a look. See how they've got this kind of set up. You have your modulators here, your sequencer here. You can do all that kind of cool jittery sugar bite stuff. I do go through all this in another video, so this is more just like a thing because I think Russ is here and he wants to do his uh, everybody's 10 favourite tracks kind of thing. Um, and then the effects, and then you've got your settings and stuff, so it's, it's just very, very nice. What's this sound? Zimmer. Just, just spectacular. Just absolutely spectacular. Just what, what a, what a sound. What a sound. What's it? Meditation. I mean, there's zillions of these things. We're going to have some fun listening to these tonight. I tell you, see, those first three sounds, they're, they're worth it, aren't they? Just worth it. It definitely has its place in the cinematic soundtracky kind of soundscaping genre. iOS. Oh, thank you, sir. Brilliant. Thank you very much. Could you demo the mad sling? Yeah. Oh, do we? Is there a? That's cool. We can do that. Is that right? Okay. So, where where are they? Where are they? Oh, oh, oh! We some twenty. So yes. So these are mad sling mad lingren sounds. Uh, the iOS track on would like me to demo, and I certainly will say. So this is caught. We'll go with the first one here. Crashing machine. Away we go. one called Death Ray.
this harmony. That's a clever sound. This is this is a UV three, yeah. And this is just one this one of the sound designers. We've got some by Richard Yacht, which are free, which I demoed a couple of weeks ago. You can get. Hey, Andrea. Thank you. 
What I found about sounds like this is that <clears throat> they instantly uh, what's it, oh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, um, inspiring. In they instantly create in inspiration for something. <laughs> I've just read that, Andre. That is bad news, man. That's right, well, I agree. Is that the uh, glit glitch thing? Glitch thing. I haven't asked Alex for a, a code for a, a beta thing yet. Is it good? 
It looks good. I, I keep seeing it only running in landscape though. Does it run in does it run in uh sorry, I keep seeing it running only in portrait. Does it run in landscape? Yeah, glitch core, that's the one. Does it <coughs> excuse me, does it run in landscape as well? I've got some songs for Russ. Definitely the Owl City one that I love and adore. What's it called? Fireflies. Oh, excellent. Excellent. Both, both portraits and landscape. Awesome stuff. That's a good sound, isn't it? Sounds a bit like Doctor Who, listen. Oh yeah, what's that U2 on that I really love? Um, with or without you, I love that. Love that song. Um, so I've got like, um, with or without you, U2. Um, oh, what's the one I just said? Fireflies by Owl City. Fireflies by Owl City, uh, pretty much anything by Kirsty McCall, but I particularly love uh, Walking Down Madison. Absolutely adore that song, Walking Down Madison, you know that one? Oh. Dig Digital Man by Rush. That's a nice sound, that is. Let's see what we've got some by uh, our very own Mr. Richard Yacht, everybody. Immediately sounds like one of Joe's tracks. Vulcanized, everybody. Hi, Vulcanized. <clears throat> Excuse me. And if you're not subscribed to Vulcanized, go and subscribe. The man makes great videos. Very, very interesting videos, I find. Very, very interesting. There's some really good, really good jams and stuff as well, but really interesting.
welcome, mate. <clears throat> I first discovered your... <clears throat> I first discovered your channel when I was uh, looking at the Ark, the Zoom Ark. It's good, isn't it? That's a good sound. Good, good soundtracky sound. What I love, <clears throat> excuse me, about about factory, is the sounds. There's the possibilities for evolving sounds, you know. There's an insane amount of modulation control. See, Tarinkino just subscribed to Vulcanized. Everyone else, run off and subscribe to Vulcanized. Oh, but, but come back again. <laughs> Because that would be cool beans. Oh, guys, don't forget to strike that like if you're here. sound this is a really weird sound because it's it's very strange and evolving oh yeah comfortably numb comfortably numb is class oh they bluebeard's a great song as well loads of stuff by the beatles Come together is brilliant, isn't it? I, I love, you know, you couldn't, 10 tracks, it's practically impossible, isn't it? But this sound, right, not only is it strange and evolving, but it's actually quite playable as a sound. Got an, do you know, it's got a, 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 a tubular bells, an old tubular bells kind of, kind of vibe. If you've heard the original, you know. Oh yeah, wish you were here. Yeah, that's it. This the start the start of part two. It's got that vibe in it, not like Oh, I like it. Tell you what, my favourite, I love Dice Straits, but my favourite album is Private Investigations. Oh, thanks, Falcon. Nice. It's very, very kind of you. Very, very kind of you. Thank you. I, um, what's it called? Uh, oh, God, I hear just Richard. I love all Oldfield stuff. Don't get me started. Um, and I even love the Stranger stuff. I love, uh, like, Five Miles Out and stuff like that, you know? Um, I love Dreadlock Holiday, 10cc, pretty much love, I'm Mandy Fly, I mean, love 10cc, think they're awesome, we're awesome. Uh, 
Oh yeah, Learning to Fly is an epic song. It was brilliant live that was, Learning to Fly. Absolutely awesome. I haven't seen them physically live, but the Pulse version of that, Learning to Fly, is amazing. That's like uh, Equinox, isn't it? It's a very quiet sound, but... Hotel California, amazing song. Life's Been Good by Joe Walsh. The, the long version. Life's Been Good, epic, and it's funny as well. Oh yeah, Let Off Led Zeppelin 4. That's a great album, Led Zeppelin 4. Led Zeppelin 4 is an, an, a really, really brilliant album. I love the mega loose feel of that album, but there's nothing loose about how that album was played. It just feels like it, it feels like they turned up in the studio and said, yeah man, let's just go and jam this, jam this dude out, you know what I mean? Paris Alhambra, what an epic track. Loads of cool synths from John Paul Jones. In the evening. Yeah, great album, Led Set 4. I originally had the, uh, you know, the colour, <laughs> the cover of what you're supposed your kit, yeah, I never did, but you know when if you put the water on it, it colours it in. I also loved Prefab Sprouts, generally everything they did. I, I think Thomas Darby was amazing. Is amazing. Flying North off his... Um, First album, can't remember the name of it now. Golden Age of Wireless, I think. It was incredible. So many cool stuff. So much cool stuff. Guitar transmission. So many levels to the sounds. OMD, all the old stuff, messages, you know, where. Uh... 
And uh, you can't really do it on here. Gosh, craft work here. Yeah. Wow. Tangerine Dream. Force Majeure. Oh, what an album that is. Yeah, I love Pete. I love public image as well. But I love John Lydon. I think uh, What's It All About? One of the most brilliant, brilliantly produced and made pop songs ever. What's it all about? Screaming in the show. A lifetime of influence. Isaiah Tamita. You get into me favourite film scorers, Hans Zimmer, John Williams, you know, all of brilliant people. No, I, no, digital D1 isn't modular. This is modular. This is definitely modular. You've got a modulation. It's semi modular. Semi modular. Um, but D1's just like a. It's like a. It's just a. It's not modular. It's a good synth, though, D1. I mean, it's free, isn't it? D1. I think. I'll have to do some audio kit stuff soon. But, oh, Steve Village! Don't get me started, Steve Village, I saw Steve Village loads, loads in the late 70s and 80s. Oh, I love his open album. But man, I was well into vocoders and my live vocoders now. Open, yeah, Green, Open, Fish Rising, Live Herald, brilliant album. Love his version of Hurdy Gurdy Man on that. <laughs> the Clash. So many great stuff. The Tubes. My favourite Tubes album is Completion Backward Principle. I love Billy Joel as well, but his early work. I love The Stranger, The Stranger, 52nd Street, Piano Man, Street Life Serenade. Italian Re We did a version, me and Joe did a version of Italian Restaurant. Unfortunately, we can't play you any other. Super Tramp. My favourite Super Tramp song is Take the Long Way Home. But I love all their stuff as well. I think Roger Hodgson is, uh, apart from being an incredibly nice man, is just a brilliant songwriter. Rick Davis is good, but it's Roger Hodgson's influence for me. Oh, D1 is the one you have to buy. What? Oh, is it Synth? What? It's Synth one, isn't it? That's free. Springsteen as well. I love Springsteen, but again, it has to, it's old Springsteen. What my my absolute one hundred percent my absolute favorite Bruce Springsteen album is Greetings from Asbury Park. That is very first album. That is an incredible album. Manfred Mann's Earth Band. Love Blinded by the Light. Love the album Angel Station. are really delicate. Tomorrow night's live stream, me and Colin are playing The Madness of Benjamin Fold again, but it's been a long time since we played it because we're leading up to the release of the new Doug and Colin album, which is The Mechanical Girl AI. Fear just got an upgrade.
Yeah, you see, he wrote he wrote Blinded by the Light. He wrote For You, which is also on Greetings for Asbury Park. Um, Manfred, Manfred Man's Earth Band covered both For You and Blinded by the Light. I'm pretty sure they covered some other stuff as well. Oh, yeah. Oh, well. Rick, oh Rick Wakeman. See, I one my favorite Rick Wakeman album isn't something like uh, Henry the Eighth or or the thing. It's um, Rhapsodies, which was a double album we released of shorter songs, but just genius keyboard work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Me drunk, that's brilliant. Do you know what though? I get like it's 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 uh, strange. I get like next like tomorrow or something. I'll get sometimes get people commenting on the live stream, uh, on a live stream video in the comments section, saying hello, hello, I'm here, I'm here, and I'm thinking I really hope you don't think I'm being rude. I'm not replying to you, but it was finished sort of thing. Yeah. Oh yeah, Barkley James I saw them a few times as well. Osric, Osric Tentacles, brilliant. The genius that is Edwin. That's a nice sound, that is. So let's see what we've got here. It's just going back to... If I go back to kind of the, the cloud thing and I can pick... Well, we, we could pick cinematic here. Um... Again, you're just getting these one note massive thingies. Alan Parsons, the Raven God. But Alan Parsons, see, genius, genius. Look at his work with Floyd and stuff like that on Dark Side and and stuff after oh, XTC, my God. Making plans, but again, like after making plans, all the very, very cool stuff. Loved uh, Simple Minds as well. Again, the earlier stuff. Although I did like the commercial stuff as well, funnily enough. Ultravox. Favourite Ultravox album. And it's not John Fox, fully enough. My favourite Ultravox album is uh, Vienna. With uh, uh, and Vienna is not my favourite track. In fact, actually, to be, I, I like Vienna, but it's probably my least favourite track on that album. My favourite tracks are things like Mr. Rex and... Uh, all stood still. My favourite David Bowie track is probably Life on Mars. Uh, that song is so well made. It's so well arranged. Do you know what I mean? It's just absolute genius. But then again, you see, you could pick pretty much... I loved the Black and White album. Um, was it Black Shirt, White Tie or Black Tie, White Shirt? It's Black Shirt, White Tie, something, whatever it was. But that was a, an epic album. Miracle Tonight and stuff like that. Guys, this piece, uh, this um, patch. You forget as well that a lot of these sounds you can morph between an A and B patch. Mark 303, can we hear some patches? Yeah, I am playing patches. <laughs> These 
Bottle Hatches. Mrs. Dame Petal plugged in. And I like the 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 uh, the browser thing, the categories because you can uh, you know dive down into the categories a bit better. So cinematic, cinematic with Bell. There's only one under that. So what's that like? Oh, hello. Ooh. Yeah, we can do ARPs. We can definitely do ARPs. Let's see. Or we can do sequence. Is there an arpeggiator? We can do sequenced. Uh, let's see. It's, it's not like kind of. It's not like an arp. An, oh, here we go. Arp. Arp. Is it arp? Arp. 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 Where's he gone again now? Arp. <laughs> is that even arp? It's not arp. Is it? It's more arp. Right, up, up. Here we go.
as in nifty R. Oh yeah, m one of my favourite uh, hard tracks is Scheme of Things, I love that track. Okay guys, <coughs> that was a blast through a load of presets from, um, <coughs> excuse me, from Factory, from Factory Synth. Don't forget tomorrow night at 8 o'clock, it is music night with Doug and Colin and we are playing, what did I say we were playing? Oh yes, yes, The Madness of Benjamin Fold, which is one of the albums in the Mechanical Girl series, uh, because we've got the new Mechanical Girl album coming out very soon. God me, and it will it will premiere here, obviously. Um, okay, thank you very much. Uh, oh, you're welcome, Carboners of Mars. Thank you for joining the stream. Thank you, Vulcan Ice Iris Track On, Russ, Damien Williams, Stephen Rimmel, Untrue Sounds, Andrea. Uh, oh, yes, no, before we go, we have something. Why didn't you say? Before we go, we have another track. I said I promise. I said I play Joe's track that I added some piano to. So, this is a track from which Joe has done, and I think we might have played this yesterday evening. But I added some piano to it today. Uh, is it that? No, I don't think it's that. What is that? Oh no, that's something else. <laughs> that's a look at all this Mech Seven, Mech Eight. This is the new Doug and Colin album. They're the working titles. Now, where is this track? Where is this track? Mm -mm -mm. Where is it? Hang on a minute. I need to find it first. What's it called? Mm hmm. Oh, here we go. It's called Dark Horizons. 
<coughs> so this this is Joe's Joe wrote this. And some of you have already heard it. <coughs> I haven't gone yet, I'm still here. So Joe wrote this and asked me if I wanted to put some little something over the top of it. So I put a little bit of uh, a little bit of piano over it. Um, and Joe really liked it, so I she said, "Can I play it for you guys?" And I said, "Yes." Remind me, because I get carried away with the sounds, you know. Anyway, so we're going to play this. So this is written, and all the guitars and everything are recorded by Joe uh, using one of Wall's CBG guitars we got from Wall, and uh, with a little tiny bit of piano from me. So I'll close the microphone. You can listen to this. So what you guys think is very cool. Epic stuff, eh? Epic stuff. Considering Joe had not picked up a guitar a week ago. <laughs> this is brilliant. Right, okay, so thank you, thank you, Foxy Nirvana. Yes, yes. So, yes, and uh, considering she learns all the Cubase stuff and everything, and, uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Bananas. But I really enjoyed the track. I think it's really good. Um, and she's working on another one now, so maybe she'll let me put some stuff onto that too. <laughs> That'd be cool, and uh, yeah. So all she did all the percussion, played it all in like you know with the what's it as well. But now she started to use some um, garage band percussion and export that because you know garage band's really good for like yeah kind of uh, um, what's it? Yeah, you know it's a brave thing for someone to like want to put something there. I don't do out there. This is not Joe's thing. Joe's a singer, you know. Um, but to actually have a go at actually writing something and composing something is really it's a it's a good thing, isn't it? I think it's I think it's great. I do. I to be very encouraging because it's important to uh, make music. I think you know, and it's not important to criticize music. That's pointless in my opinion uh the the important thing is just to listen to it and uh enjoy what people do you know because we all do different things anyway here's the thing i am going to definitely be going now i'll then let you guys say ta -ra to each other for a few secs while i just actually uh just a sound test joe's show start <laughs> hey hey don't give her ideas like you know hey god Right, anyway, guys, don't make my wife think. Right, okay, folks, listen, I will see you very soon. We'll see you tomorrow, the definite tomorrow evening, um, with um, <laughs> uh, Duncan Collins' al album. And, uh, yeah, I hope... Um, I... What's his name?
constructive constructive feedback <laughs> oh, no i never said feedback i, I said cr criticism and and it doesn't actually damien in my opinion and i've been an artist for a long long time it's never constructive it's just people it's an opinion do you know what i mean you know if i was to give faust constructive feedback i'd say be more melodic dude <laughs> <laughs> I'll see you all. Ta-da. God bless you. <laughs>